Honestly, going to Bing's home and Bay used to it makes things so much better in some ways. You can just go wherever you plans. Yeah. Yeah, that makes sense. It just... Yeah. But it gets lonely sometimes. Oh, oh, what? Oh, I didn't see you. Please don't call the others. Yeah, so, but like, what am I supposed to do? Do I have to go in here? I think I'm in the right place. Now, where's that gizmo? Wait, the... Someone needs Ella to echo an old red gizmo for one of the raids. Okay. Why would I need that? Interesting. I don't think that's what I need, but I can. Oh! Did you have the DIC for this too? Looks like this door needs a code to open. Uh, I should I check around the ruin. See if I can find so. the right help. Let me check. I think I have it. Very steam. I think it came out with the DLC. It's the complete edition, so I assume it does have a like I would guess it was included. Yeah, I think so. Hi, Yonina. Oh, wait, I do need a code. Never mind. I don't have the code. I need to look for it. Oh, yeah, I probably have to go up there. Oh, let's see. Okay, and what from here? Oh. What's in here? I think I found what we need. Huh. So the gizmo is actually called an ornament. I found one of these in another ruin. Hey, remember that guy came in saying he was Kai's business partner and he has here to collect the ornaments to set up for the big show? Well, the pingback from those things currently puts them all over the southwest. Kai is convinced it's a malfunction for now, but the closer we get to the show, the more he's gonna freak out. If you t I won't tell if you want. Anyway, he changed the code for his office, so the cleaning bots will need to be updated, otherwise they will pile up at the door trying to get it. Here is the code, 135. Yep, same six digit code as in the RSC. Kai is not secret to you. What can I say? It sounds like there are more out there. And it looks like there's part of the code. Might be for the door. I better keep looking around. Maybe I can find the rest of it. Wait, okay, that's just one part. So 135, remember guys, 135. A hatch. Might lead to another part of the ruin. But how to get to it? Hatch? There's an opening at the top of the fence. Could be a way in if I can find a way to get up there. Okay. Those crates could help me reach the opening at the top of the fence. It's good work. I can't pull this out. It looks like the crate on top's blocked. And I'm not sure if I see the problem. 
sure there's a way to pull the top crate off. Is it? Is it here? I'm getting so much help from Aloy yet, I feel so dumb. <laughs> She's actually being very useful now, but I'm like, I'm blind, girl. Nothing can help me, not even you. No. Were you talking about this one? I'm not Maybe I have to put this up here and then get the other right and then I have no idea, I don't know. Can I shoot <laughs> here? Needs a backup. Try again. Let's see if I, I became smart. Oh. Can I pull this? Oh my god, I'm so smart. Sir, should be able to reach the opening now. I feel so smart right now. Not so much anymore. Where, where, where are we going? Thank you, pigments. Also, thank you for the follow, Bobby. Bob. I will call you Bobby if that's okay. I won't budge from this side. Oh my god. Psst. Let it go, please. So. Keep the chat um, to a more light topic, okay? I feel doomed enough already. I wonder. I won't budge from the side. But I hope you're doing well. Can I squeeze through here, maybe? I believe I can do it now. I think I have to go back. Uh. Okay, why did I do that? But we'll see. Okay. Okay. No, you know. So, oh, let's see. Oh, I pulled her right on top of me. Oh, please, it doesn't matter. I see where this leads. We. I already forgot the first part of the code. I think is it like one. One free five, maybe. Going? Oh, I'm back outside. What else is up here? Oh. I don't think it'll connect. You know. Hmm. There's a ruin in there. 
Thank you, pigments. I also I forgot to mention that I also got a refund. Looks like the ornaments were part of something called the. Knights I mean, not God, but like requested a refund for the emotes. Um, standard holo cordially invites you to the Knights of Lights holiday promotion VIP viewing lunch. Mara from the best city in the city as the Vegas skyline is transformed into a dazzling holo holiday celebration. Featuring a sample of holiday offerings available at launch, Lights of Lights will also offer a range of customization options to make every display talk of the town. Secure your place in Vegas history as the City of Lights lives up to its name. Representatives will be on hand to answer any questions and note any specific requests. Demonstration begins at 8pm, followed by dinner and entertainment. Your RSVP is embedded in this invitation when prompted enter the 6th code 739. A way to celebrate old world Seven, holidays by three, changing the holograms above ground? Nine. But how? Oh, I have a part of the codes here too. I should have what I need to open the door. Never be nice. Never be nice. But... You know how to go back. Huh? Oh wait, I don't think I can go back here. Oops. Oh? Wait, no, that's not it. I think I'm gonna have to go go back around. Seven, B, nine. That's not it. Wait, one. I don't think that's the code. There we go. Okay. I'm in. For a second, I was like, uh, did I remember it incorrectly? Got it. Time to head back up to Stemmer. Maybe we can figure out how to make this thing work. In this way? If you feel involved, there's a Tanakh outpost nearby. The rebel kind. Oh, it's still locked. Delver of the deep. Give me the key already. The Nora returned, but did she bring tidings of triumph or misfortune? I got the gizmo, and it's not the only one I found. Here. The old wordsmith, a keen spark in his eye and gratitude in his heart, held aloft the gizmo that had eluded him. It's called an ornament, actually. Part of a set. Huh. You know, some delvers tapped a ruin north of here recently and said they saw a trinket like this one, beyond their reach. Might have been another one of these okay, ornaments. Okay, life is like that luckier than all the people into. you still have. Yeah. And so the mystery of the ornament deepened. I, For what I purpose were these agree. trinkets designed? Something called the Knights of Lights holiday promotion. It's a way the old ones celebrated special occasions, I think. Like feasts? Kind of. I think a holiday marked a seasonal event. And so does every feast in the claim. There's the feast of the first keg, the feast of fermentation, the all hops feast. All about ale, huh? I guess I shouldn't be surprised. Anyway, these ornaments could supposedly change the lights above ground, but I'm not sure how. Hmm. I recognize this marking. Saw the same on a little device we unearthed. Here. I might be able to turn on the lights. Hmm, time to find out. Which one should I try first? Christmas! 
I hate Christmas, but let's go with Christmas because everyone loves Christmas. Let's see this one. You got it. I like the lights, that's it. I'm sure as sparks kindle flame. Whoa. Which must have been some kind of winter festival. Yeah. Kind of I only like the that? Christmas lights. Nothing more oh, about Christmas. Looks but... like a fang horn. Damn. Let me know if you find any more of those ornaments. It's kinda cute. I wonder what other holidays the old ones celebrated. The old wordsmith's heart warmed. As a friend returns. Let's check more lights. So, what can I do for you? This one seems good. I hope Abaddon is ready for this. Ignoring me again. Ah, this must have been the feast of the crescent moon. But they couldn't have celebrated every crescent moon, could they? By the forge, that'd be a lot of feasts. <laughs> Is writing machines a thing now? Because I saw other people doing it around here. Kinda like this more. Not gonna lie. So, do we have the more lights? Oh, that was it. The Nora returned to the teller of tales and keeper of ornaments. So, what would it be? <laughs> Halloween! Let's go with this one. <gasps> I'll get right to it. This is stranger than a spark in a puddle. Oh my god. What kind of festival celebrates bats? This is By it the for me. During the party, what did they feast on? There's a Kota. Great on some machines. So, I forgot who are you, so I'm sorry about that. The Skycan soldier wants to hunt the killer machines that have been attacking Tanak squads in the forest. Okay. Let's do that. Glad you made it. The place where my people seek salvage is close, as are the hostile machines. Follow if you will. Lead the way. I've hunted this forest since I was a boy. And when the clans were at war, Shikata and I helped hold it from the lowlanders. It was one of the few battles Hikaru ever lost. Didn't you say Shikata was a marshal? Yes. Later, he came to respect Hikaru's dream for a united tribe and volunteered for the very first cool group. I was melancholy when he left the clan to serve the chief. But he came back often, and I was always glad when he did. There, the machines. I've heard of your skill, so I'll follow your lead. Be. I'm on it. That was epic. Oh, there are some crabbies around here. Once he comes back, I will just like him. I'm with you. Oh my god, who noticed me? What? Oh my god. Okay. Oh no, I'm good. I will take the high ground, thank you. I can entertain them down there. Me. Oh, the cubby. Oh. 
I don't want your tail though. Which I won't have none. Oh god. This guy is not choking. Uh, do I have an antidote or something? that machine ended up being here the cannoli macaroni I'm um, a little bit busy over here as well. Give me some time to heal, please. And no ammo, right. But you certainly didn't stay at that high ground for long. Well, yeah. Okay, that's dead. Fun. Let me loot first before I forget. Well, I don't have to worry about running out. That machine needs a shield. Use my own clothes. You fought well. Better than any marshal. Better you. than Shikata, even. You too. You were more than friends. Yes. Whenever he left on a mission, I felt an ache in my chest. I know he's gone forever. He meant a lot to you. I'm so sorry, Ikota. Don't be. He, he did a good you. thing for the village and gave a lonely old soldier some solace. Here, take this. You deserve it. I'm You're so young sorry, and strong dude. with many victories ahead. But perhaps someday you could come back if you're up for another hunt. I just might be.
take it from a girl who grew up in the wilds, birds don't provide much conversation. That's for sure. How are you doing, Aloy? Well, better than you, I think. At least I'm not chatting with animals. What's wrong? Meat here flew in yesterday with this in its beak. It's a cord that the Tanakh children use to carry their training swords. The kind of thing one of our young doesn't lose unless something bad has happened. I checked around. Turns out a kid is missing. Wandered off the day before last. Search parties turned up nothing. Gotta tell you, I'm not in the mood to lose one of my people. Especially a child. Let me see that thing. There's a bit of quartz on here. It's probably sand, some dirt. And clay with a red hue. Sand, dirt, and red clay? I know a spot where all three meet, just south of the settlement. Will you meet me there and help check it out? Maybe use that relic of yours. The way things have been going, I can't trust this to anyone else. I'll get there as soon as I can. I can always count on you. Let's investigate. Sounds like you are feeling isolated. Hmm. I don't blame her. Oh, oh there's our Tarnak friend, which I'm not going to be able to get, I think. For a while, at least. Wait, which way I'm going now? Should the be machine. I need to help her look for that missing kid. Oh. Come here. Let's have a word. So, here we are. Sand, dirt, red clay. Just like you said from looking at that child's cord. Maybe you could use your relic? See if he was here? Start where meat is. When she gets squawking like that, she's usually onto something. Okay, I'm on it. Mm. What? I didn't realize that. You think you could use that relic to search the area? Well, here is mead. But... There. Small footprints. Things put the tracks lead away from here. Yara, I found a trail. Might be the child. Really? Let's go. Back at Scalding Spear, you said you couldn't trust anyone. What's going on? With Draka out of the way, I thought there'd be peace for a while. Two days ago, I had to put down another upstart. He thought I should have sided with Regala. How many more do I have to kill? When does it end? Good question. Do I detect a note of judgment there? You know your people better than I do. But I have noticed that killing leads to more killing. It's always been the way of the desert. Yeah. But should it be? Help! Oh? What? Stuck in here! You hear that? Meet to the rescue again. I don't want to die I here. I think the child's in that ancient wreck. I need help. There you are. You're safe now. No, there's machines out there. What machines? I'm ready to fight. Oh no. <laughs> Great. I was not ready for this fight, but sure. 
Uh oh. Oh my god, too close, too close. No, 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 I don't want this. Oh, green shine. And uh, no, I need, I don't know what I need actually. The power. My god. No, no, no. Too close. Oh, that's not a good place to be. No, I'm not. They look okay. Nice. Now I better. with this again. Oh, oh, almost. Not quite, but almost. No! Don't move! I didn't say to come closer though. Oh no! Oh wait, I don't have any healing. The more the merrier. This is the end for you. Party crusher? Oh my god, what do you mean? God. What do you mean? What do you mean? And I can't craft anymore. Oh my god. Great. Where are you? Where the heck is it? Oh, there you are. Oh my god, that was great. Apparently I can't aim today. Just 
up. Oh my god. Good bird, sweet bird. Bird, sweet bird. I'm like trying to aim at her wings, but it's just not really happening. And he's going up. She can't move. I could grapple in for a big hit. Yeah, but it's not gonna be such a big hit, though. I'm not even... I barely hit her. Yeah, he's getting nasty now. Oh boy. Well done, Aloy. Thank you. The birdie landed at the worst possible place though. I should check on Yara and the kid. Yeah, I feel like they only just leave first. It's okay. We'll get you back to base as soon as I catch my breath. Oh, I thought I was dead for sure. Okay, little one. You're all right now. What happened? I, I, I just wanted to go on a hunt, or I got lost, and then the machines chased me, and... Hush. You're safe. Just give me a minute with my friend here. Then I'll take you back to Scalding Spear. Uh, thank you, Commander. At ease, soldier. Mm -hmm. Those machines would have finished me if you hadn't been here. The kid's okay. That's all that matters. Yes. His parents will be glad to have him back. His squad, too. It's nice to save a life instead of end one. The desert kills, it's true. But every now and then something blooms from it. I'll think about what you said. I'm just glad I could help. About yeah. that. Yeah. Take this. You deserve it. You found the child. Well, you and me. 
What a team. <laughs> Stay safe, Yara. And you as well. Let's stop with her. Scraps. Pull from the arch is most likely. Boomer's handiwork? That's my bet, but no sign of Boomer. Any idea why she'd be out this way? Probably just wanted to get as far away from me as possible. During the fight, I snapped at her. Said some things I shouldn't have. Everyone makes mistakes. You know, back in the claim, she'd get into all kinds of trouble. Dad always said it was my job to look out for her. We'll find her, Della. Let me look around for some tracks. Here, I should be able to pick up her tracks with my focus. Oh, there. There's something there. There. Tracks. Looks like they lead out into the desert. No. What no? What do you mean no? Did she go down there? No. We will. Tracks end here, but looks like Boomer set out some traps around the ruin. If we get rid of the machines, maybe we'll find out. Is she talking about the person who's not even here? I think she bugged out. There's another sentry up there, I didn't get this there. Mm. I now want to try to override that big guy. I don't know if I can. Let's see your track. Maybe if he goes there, I could be able to do that. Or I will try to maneuver where it is now and wait for the next. I don't think that's possible, but let's see. I'll keep some extra on hand. I almost didn't notice this trap. makes a fuss whenever she misplaces it she'd never leave it behind maybe she had to leave in a hurry when the machines moved in or something worse happened hey we don't know that. honestly probably something worse happened because that's how this game she might have left another is, trail to follow maybe not hold on boomer we're coming i hope she's okay though but it's like 95 percent they're not okay. 
Can you pick up any tracks? <laughs> I guess. Oh my god. <laughs> okay. I don't like the sounds coming from outside. I can't make out any footprints. Maybe that second side of yours could help. I will yeah, just hold on for a second. Girl, my sloop. I think this way. Now I kind of want to have a horizon too. I don't know what Any it would be exactly. Oh, when they uh, did the scorpion die. Oh, I also didn't do these guys. Looks like she headed towards the hills. Well, let's go. There's some I mean, kind of wreck up on that cliff. I would run How for my life with there? these many machines. Uh, broken ladder. Must have collapsed as Boomer was climbing. So how are we gonna get up there? What? I am gonna get up like this. Or now, actually. Never mind. I climb up. Oh. Yes, you can. This way. Right. <laughs> Scaling a big old cliff. There's no way we're gonna leave there. There. How you doing, Della? Great. Yeah. Nice. This. Uh... This slow team. Go down, please. Get away. Now to the side. Thank you. No, go back. I almost left it there. Unbelievable. Unforgivable. Oh my god. Oh, that's not how I planned, but I will take it. Now... I continue there. Here machines up there though. It's not good. Aloy. Wait. Me? What was this place? I don't know. It Bunker? looks abandoned. A shelter. And some kind of device. From Boomer? <laughs> Looks like some of the components were stripped. Thing. She must have brought it up here to tinker after the machines moved into her camp back at the ruin. But where could she have gone from here? That wreck down there looks promising. Well, if there's one thing I know about Boomer, 
is that she can't resist a shiny pile of salvage. <laughs> Come on, let's go down and check it out. I see a possible green shine there. Whoa, look at them. Look at the moon. No, he ran away. Thank you. Hey, look there. Oh, wait, it's at the base of the wreck. Tools. Bet you found another spot to tinker. Let's take a closer look. I'm just stuck here. Yeah, she was working on something here, all right. But where? Oh! Oh! Boomer? Gotta finish this. Boomer! What are you doing? Too late. Oh no. I don't like the sound of that. Boomer, what did you do? Never mind that now. Here they come. Hey, Boomer. Yes? Your sister was really worried about you. Look, I know you must still be angry, but you can't run off into the desert like that. I didn't run, and I'm not angry. You're not? No, why would I be angry? Be because of our fight, be because you ran away. I didn't run. Well, you left me. I'd never leave you. <laughs> You're my sister. What is going on? Idea. So I went to find the parts. See? A weapon. This is just the payload carrier. The real secret are the boom discs. Throw one at a machine, slice and dice. And then it comes back until you throw it enough times. And then it goes boom. At least it's supposed to. I can't get it to come back. Uh, here, let me see. I don't know, my brain can't hear the ah, and that makes sense. Pin here's off. Yeah. Just needs a little cable around here. Done. These two. Here, Red. Give it a try. No, wait. Try it on the big machine. This way. No. No. There she goes. Thank you, though, yes. So you really didn't leave because of our fight? No. But you left camp without telling me. You were sleeping. Why didn't you wake me? You said you didn't want to talk until the morning. Well, yeah, but I meant about... Oh, I, I, I didn't mean literally. Also, if you, if you hear my dogs barking in the background, that's just because of the storm. find your way to that old ruin i saw it when we left camp nowhere and you remembered how to get there yep so what's this big machine we're after you'll see is this gonna be please just don't don't be the bird Please, I can deal with anything, just not with the bird. I don't like it's the bird. It's just down there. Where? Huh? Well, there's nothing here. Just watch. No, not the bird over. No, 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 no! Wait, that's not the bird over. So, where is the weapon that you gave me, girl? Because I don't see anything in my inventory, which is new. And a shredder. We'll hang out of here, Show me 
but I believe you that it's a good weapon. <laughs> oh god. Oh, okay. Roar? Where? It didn't give me nothing! Oh, shut up. I don't even think I can change weapons now. Oh, wait. How do I have this equipped? I'm confused. Ow. Oh. I don't really think it's working very well. I don't wanna... Oh my god! Disappoint you. But at the same time, it's not really... not really working so like I'm sorry but I'm gonna switch hello I just literally die here Finally, I was like, how much more does the little weapon need? You're doing it, Red. Keep it up. Oh, wait. Oh, fuck you. Oh wait, that's not gonna work. Oh my god! You didn't have time to like scan you properly. Very enthusiastic, okay? that's for sure. Ever since we left the claim, I figured I could just hammer it into her head to quit it with the explosions. Everything would be better. And after your fight, you thought you lost her because you were too hard on her. Turns out I was wrong about that, too. She doesn't see the world like I do. Where I see a problem, she sees a way to blast through it. And I guess that's okay. I wouldn't have gotten her back without you, Red. Boomer's lucky to have you. As for the weapon, keep it. As thanks. You ready to head home? 
I think I just got a new idea for a prototype we can work on. With explosions? Oh, you bet. Yes! <laughs> Bye, Red! Well, I'm glad that for once it was a happy ending. Now that I'm here, I'm actually gonna talk with everyone. You know there used to be a rainforest so big the old ones called it the Oh wait, not here. Okay, I can't. I'm missing some ingredients for these ingredients. Well, more like parts, but yes. But they help bring part of it back in Sobek's time. That's good to hear. Always in a hurry, aren't you? What's wrong with your shoulder? Yeah, it hurts a little. Yeah, maybe a lot. What'd you do? <laughs> well, I tried to arm wrestle with Catalo. Yeah, maybe that wasn't such a great idea. I was just curious to see if that new arm of his was as strong as it looked. Turns out it really is. Well... I found out more about the Sons of Prometheus. They definitely have a base. It's a place called First Forge. We just have to find it. First Forge? All right, that's it then. I know where that is. You found one of them? A Sons of Prometheus operative? Hey, he was posing as a Delver, but my focus locked onto his. When he saw me coming, he ran. I caught up with him, and he tried to crush his focus. But there was still data on it. A bunch of locations and coordinates. One of them was called First Forge. I didn't know what it meant till now. Nice job. Ah, you know me. Ancient Good job, Aaron. Send me those coordinates, okay? Now hold on, Aloy. I'm coming with you. Asera is the last of a line of killers that murdered Ursa. And I need to be there when she goes down. Of course. Send me the location and I'll call you when I'm close. All right then. So if you don't know, Ursa was um, his sister. Remember to send me the coordinates to Asera's base. I'll let you know when I'm close by. Now I'm sending him now. I won't let and you we know. had that quest oh, no. in the first game. Seems like the old ones used their focuses to send all kinds of messages back in the day. All over the world, too. Uh, Anytime package. they wanted. Yeah, I don't know if I'd like that. Um, I wouldn't want my Aunt Alga knowing she could just talk to me every second of the day. Let's talk with her. You're back. Anything new around here? Cotalo showed me the schematics for his new arm. I recall reading about robotic limbs within the legacy, but I never thought I'd see one in action. Technology like that would be treasured back home. Think of what it could do for injured workers or soldiers. But knowing the Imperial family, they would use it for different purposes. Their own. Yep. Replacing body parts as they grow older. Like the Zenith. <sighs> exactly. I better leave you to your studies. There really is a lot to go through, isn't there? You know what? I just had a realization. That this this is I mean, I know it's not the same, like don't get me wrong, okay. but it reminds me a little bit of Mass Effect when we had all the teams and such. Why is this closed? What is- wait, is this a new place? 
trust you on that one with Zero Mass Effect knowledge myself. But I hope to convert everyone with time into a Mass Effect. Um, a Mass Effect fan. So don't worry, the time will come. Wait, can you not put it in there? Uh, somewhat, yes. Why? Why? I'm confused. Well, anyway, let's follow the thing up there. I'm a bit confused. I, I just... I hope that everyone has the chance to embrace it and play it. The best one, in my humble opinion, is the second game. Well, well, where am I? Wait, what? Oh, oh, I think I know where am I. I'm so confused. Wait, what? I guess I can't put the energy cell in there. I better keep this down here. Hmm? I better keep this down here. Okay. I better keep this down here. I. You know. Oh, really? I was in first person, then I might be able to agree to go. <laughs> I also think the second is the best, but so many people don't because they say it's like meaningless. Right? Why is it meaningless? It's not meaningless. What the hell? I'm not going to say anything because Ali um, haven't played, but like meaningless? Meaningless? Excuse me? Like, excuse me? You're fighting immortals from the stars now? What's next? Wizards from the moon? They are wrong. That's all I can see. I really like all the free games. You, you need some time in the first game to get used to things but once you get into it then that's when the real fun comes in yeah well, it is but the story is still very good okay Hey, Errant. I'm close to Asera's base. Think you can join me? On my way. My poor dog is very scared of the thunder. So, ready to take down some very nasty Asaram? First, we have to figure out a way in. She's sleeping next to me on the Ottoman, and she's just like not having it. We'll never get it noticed. The other one doesn't give a damn. This one, Lily, is very scared of thunders. Your armor. It's almost the same as theirs. Yeah. Yeah. Ah. Uh, hey, guys. Keep up the good work. <laughs> Who are you? <laughs> oh, I love her. You caught the Nora as Sarah's been looking for. That's so. Yeah, we don't know you. Huh. Well, that was smooth. Well, that went well. We should do it more often. Come on. We need to find a Sarah and shut this place down. 
I won't be easy to avoid her. People Violence in is here. always a solution. I, I tend to agree. Ready. Just stay low for now and follow my lead. You got it. However, next time when I do my next Mass Effect playthrough. Oh, what's this place? And my medicine stack is empty as well. Great. Uh, I'm sure two mushrooms are gonna be enough, right? What could go wrong? Fighting with a side boss. Why not? What was that? Nice. Sarah really likes her booby traps. And you still like the sound of your own voice, Aaron. That's Sarah. true. I was hoping you'd make it this far, Nora. I don't think so. Um Aloy. All right, there's a draft here. It's got to be another path. Too bad there's no way to get to it. Yeah, hold that thought. Oh? What are you gonna do? Sorry, what's wrong? I can be handy once in a while. Yep. What? Yeah. You okay? I will be. I catch a Sarah. Keep going. <laughs> you know, now what are we supposed to do? I got this. Now those wires are very nicely placed there. Should have thought of that. Come on. Not really for you, Aaron. I'm here. Trip wires. They don't just walk. I'm over it and die. Um, like machine pens. Yes, I don't like this. Let me just grab more shit. Oh. Um you took your sweet time. We can't let you finish what Durval started, Asera. This ends here. Funny. I was about to say the same thing. <laughs> no, not the birds. Please tell me. Oh. Well, I don't know if I'm happy that it's not the big bird or these guys, because I don't like to fight against these guys either. Plus, she is keep shooting at me. Nice. One tail down. Where are you? Nice. Let me just loot you. Iron is fine. Oh! Gonna get your tail as well, don't you worry. Ah! Ow, ow, ow. It's fine, it's fine. Nice, thank you. Blame the dog hair. Well, it's... Oh. Oh, 
You died at the responsible location. Like, I'm sorry, you're gonna stay there. I can't resurrect you, bro. Shut up. Oh, I almost fell into death. And I have no ammo. Ouch. Yes. Now I wouldn't mind having more healing herb. I am a warrior. My God. Okay. Uh. Feeling better. Okay, that's now a problem. No, I'm not on. Can't resurrect you. I need to have my grandma get the engineer cookbook tomorrow. No worries, thank you for coming by, Yanni. I hope you're gonna have a good walk and a good dinner. Oh. I'm giving her so many headshots. How is she still alive? Finally. Thank you, thank you, Ellie. Um, only on me. I can send it to my stash. Oh, I got the gold. Oh. Assortment of grapes and grease stained sketches. An entry has been bookmarked. I wonder what you would say now, Father. A tanaked army at my disposal. Machines answering my every command. The Karja powerless to prevent their impending demise at my hand. I became a thinker despite you. When Derval held me back, my talents grew despite his petty jealousness. And whatever agenda this silence may have, because by the forge there has to be one, I will exact revenge against the Karja regardless. I surprised every man that has ever gotten in my way, and in each of them I've seen your face, father. So when Meridian burns, it won't be to avenge you, it will be to purge you with fire like the rest of my enemy. Right? Oops, talk. Mm, welcome back, Raven. Take it easy. Have something yummy to eat. Sarah's little army. That feels like Thank a you for the good way, mate. And the final causes. I hope it's really over this time. Me too. But you did good. I'm serious. We couldn't have stopped this without you. Well, I'm it's fine. <laughs> for once, I guess. Should we head back? Yeah, let's go. You go on ahead. I'd like to take a look around first. Or not. Sure Sarah didn't leave any more surprises behind. I know, leave okay. it's okay. I see you later then. By the forge, I could use a drink. Welcome back. 
Aloy, I know your experience in Thebes was unsettling, but we have a new problem. Oh no, a new problem? Did something go wrong with Beta and the rig? Will we be able to transport you to Gemini? The rig is complete. The problem is Hephaestus itself. It has accelerated its proliferation throughout the Cauldron Network, increasing its power. But with your subfunctions restored, we can still succeed, right? Correct. But the net effect is that yes. absorbing Hephaestus will take longer than previously calculated. How long? Even with Omega clearance, my current estimate is that the merge will take 35 hours. That's a lot of time. And each hour increases the risk of detection by the Zeniths. That is not good. Two cores. Two overrides. What if the merge were carried out by two clones of Elizabeth Sobek, both armed with Omega clearance? How long then? Half the time? Hephaestus would be unprepared for the simultaneous labor of two operators, in addition to obvious synergetic efficiencies. Calculating. It would reduce the merge time to approximately 4.5 hours. Okay, okay, that could work. Varl, it looks like we're gonna need Beta at Gemini. Do you think you can convince her? Uh, I don't know, but I'll try. What about our diversion? Are the pulse generators ready? Only a final test remains. I am confident that if fired in proximity to other cauldrons, the pulses will mask our activities at Gemini from the Zeniths. Good. As long as Aaron can operate one without shooting himself in the face. Aloy, <laughs> you better get down here. Beta's in bad shape. Oh no. Okay. I think I'm playing too, too much Apex because I'm I keep like dashing. Aloy, I tried, but it's impossible. I don't think anything will convince her to go. We don't have a choice. Good luck. Beta, you have to come with us. It's the only way. It's one mission. The most important one. We need you. Tell me why you won't go. What if they... What if they take me back? Alone. In a cell again. A slave. Forever. And I will be at Gemini too. I'll protect you. As soon as we get Hephaestus, we'll come straight back here. The Zeniths aren't going to find us. You don't have to be afraid. No! You can't protect me. Nothing can protect me from them. I told you from the beginning we'll never beat them. It's hopeless. That's not true. Look at us go. Look Accomplish so many things. Leave me alone. You don't understand. You're right. I don't understand. We have the same genes, the same mind, the same heart. So why can't you find the strength to do what has to be done? Like Elizabeth would. Don't you think I've thought about that? I don't know what piece of Elizabeth I'm missing. I don't know what you have that I don't. I look through all the data from your focus. You were raised as an outcast, shunned and isolated just like me. So what's the difference? What's my defect? I would say love. Nobody really shown her love. A defect. 
Beta. Look, it's not a piece of Elizabeth. The difference is, I had him. Frost. He raised you, trained you, but he was never warm or loving. The day he, he died, the day he gave you that charm, he was going to abandon you. He wanted me to embrace the tribe. But then he gave his life for mine. He loved me in his own way. And that was enough. What did he feel like? It was like... Having a strength that was always there. It's still there. Even now I hear him in my head when things get bad. Oh, my heart. But it looks impossible. Look deeper. And then fight like you can win. Find another way. I'll go. You said you'd try to protect me. I believe you. Oh, yeah, it does. I hope they will become good friends. One thing. Yes, of course. If it goes bad, if the Zeniths find us. I no. Be slave again. Do you understand? No. Okay. Promise. I promise. No. I could use as much time as you can give me to study up on the merge, to make it as efficient as possible. I'll be ready when you are. I swear. I have a very bad feeling about this. Maybe we're not gonna do that. Not at all. I was just studying the pulse generator schematics. Does he have another side? The ones Gaia and Beta built. <laughs> the craftsmanship is remarkable. Is everything all right? It sounded like there was an uh, issue with Beta and the mission. Not anymore. We just needed to talk some things through. To understand one another is to embrace truth. Oh, and uh, if you have a moment, there's something I could use your help with. You mentioned there was something you needed help with? Yes. Uh, so, as I was sifting through data from the greenhouse, I found references to an old world system back in the Great Delta. It's called Leviathan. My people discovered it decades ago. A Leviathan, another Mass Effect. And a labyrinth <laughs> of underground tunnels. The legacy revealed that the old ones used it to control flooding. But we've never gotten it to work. The whole thing is shut down. But the data from the greenhouse mentions the research facility where Leviathan was created. It's in San Francisco. Another Pharaoh facility? No. Leviathan was a project by Eileen Sasaki, another ancestor. So, the legacy tells us, anyway, if we can acquire that data, we might be able to fix the system back in the Great Delta. Every year, my sister gets terrified when the long rains begin. With Leviathan, maybe she won't have to be. Okay. So, where in San Francisco is this facility? That's the thing. The data doesn't say where, exactly. 
But one of our diviners has been exploring the ruins. He might know. Would you come with me? I have a feeling that wherever this facility is, well, you're much better at fighting machines than I am. Of course. I'll let you know when I'm in landfall. Thank you, Aloy. Actually... I kind of want to do that. To think that some of the ancestors your tribe reveres are still alive. And here on Earth, right now. Yeah, it is. Part of me is curious to know who else besides Eric Visser might be among them. Maybe Nikita Arand? We call her the Spark. The legacy tells us she brought unlimited energy to the Old Ones. Or Song Zhao, whom we call the Healer. It is said she found new ways to extend the ancestors' lifespans. But my curiosity fades when I think of how different our view of Visser was compared to the reality that you experienced. Perhaps it is better not to know. Any more data catch your eye? All of it? I have so much to study up on. Years, actually. I'm particularly interested in the Odyssey. We knew the ancestors had made it to the moon. In fact, we theorized some of them had settled on it. But Sirius is way farther than that. And we thought journeying across the ocean would be the feat of a lifetime. The sheer calculations needed for space travel, it's overwhelming to think about. Even so, the Quen are way ahead of other tribes when it comes to understanding this stuff. Where I grew up, Everyone thought that stars were sparks that rose from a fire lit by the goddess to guide us through the night. <laughs> Have you spoken with Zoe at all? A little bit, but uh, I did hear her singing with Varl not too long ago. I don't think they noticed. So seemed so uh, free when she did it. Like every emotion she had was taking flight in song. Uh, and she looked happier because of it. Uh, I felt so dull and nervous in comparison. You should ask so to teach you sometime. About Utaru music. Maybe. If you need anything before heading out to the cauldrons... You have nothing to worry about. Gaia's explained your plan in detail. As expected from such an efficient AI. I've even received some very... Um, uh, succinct combat advice from Kotalo. You know, uh, in case the Zeniths show up. What kind of advice? He, um, told me to run. For ah! now. We'll even the odds soon enough. Uh, that kind of sounds like <laughs> I should go. Make sure you talk to Gaia if you have any questions about the pulse generators. May your path lead to truth. And, like I said, I'll let you know when I'm in landfall. We'll find the data you're after. I appreciate it. Um... I guess I can talk with everyone and then leave. Everything okay with you and Beta? It sounded like you guys had a, uh... Lively conversation. We just had a lot to talk about. Does this mean she's coming with us to Gemini? It does. I hope you're ready to rein in the most stubborn AI of all time. That's what all this was for, wasn't it? Hephaestus won't go down quietly. Hephaestus is just a program that's lost its way. We are fighting for our survival. I can always call upon the goddess if you're nervous. Funny. Hmm. You were right, you know, about keeping Rost's memories buried. I guess part of me thought he was holding me back because he wanted me to be a Nora. But the truth is he gave me a lot and I took him for granted. He was a good man. He raised you well. I hope firing off those pulse generators will be enough to distract the Zeniths. It'll work, it has to. Always optimistic, huh? Nah, just stubborn. 
It's a good quality to have when dealing with you. Yeah. <laughs> right. Any last fights? He's not wrong on that. Before leaving? Not really. Though I've reached a decision. Oh? When we put Gaia together, I want to return to the Nora, spread what I've learned. You think they'll listen to you? In time, I believe so. If anyone can make it happen, it's you, Varl. And what about Zo? What will you and Zo do if you go back to the Embrace? Exactly, my dad. At least for a while. And I'll go with her to Plainsong, too. She'll probably want to talk to her people about all this as well. We'll figure it out. I know you will. How does everyone seem to you? Anxious, but ready. I heard Catalo ask for Alva's help with his pulse generator. And I know he's been helping her with a few fighting techniques, just in case. I hope they aren't needed. Like I said, just in case. How's Aaron doing? Making sure we all hear the tale of Aloy and Aaron striking down the remnants of Durval's followers with hammer and bow. It was <laughs> a pretty good fight. So I've heard. Five times, actually. This is it, Varl. To think, it was just the two of us when we first stepped out west. And now we have a team. A good one. This is all because of you, Varl. Yeah, you're right. Smart ass. <laughs> I'm glad you're coming with me, Varl. Sure there's no urge to run off alone in there somewhere? No more running. You know, he's right though, like, without war, we wouldn't be able to, like, open up to other people. Hey, we'll be going after Hephaestus soon. You good with the plan? I've already got the location of my assigned cauldron. Good. I heard you and Beta had a... talk. News travels fast. It wasn't exactly a quiet conversation. There were just things that needed to be said. A healthy crop to those who clear the weeds between them, as the Utaru say. You look like you have something on your mind. We're going to war soon. And war is something I promised myself I'd left behind in the Red Raids. But the more of your data I go through, every voice I hear, every word I read from her ancient past, it makes me realize just how much life was given so that ours could flourish. Fighting for that gift, it's our responsibility. If we fail, it was all for naught. Helps to know you're not alone. For a moment there, you sounded like Varl. I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> I should go. As soon I as think you intend War to has a good Shanghai, influence on Aloy. Hear about it. Now let's talk with Aaron. What's up? Hey, I thought I'd check in before leaving for Gemini. Are you sure we shouldn't be checking up on you? I mean, whatever went on between you and Beta sounded intense. Not that I'm judging. Forge knows all the screws flew loose every time Mercer and I fought. I think we'll be fine from now on. I'm glad to hear it. Oh, before I forget. Here. Something to commemorate our mission. We did good together. Yeah, we did. After we get Hephaestus, we'll be taking the fight to the Zeniths. So, no more reading. Yeah, it wasn't that bad. Not really. Besides, uh, going through all that data helped me realize something. You know, the soldiers, the, the ones that fought the Pharaoh machines so Gaia could be built, uh, they were fighting a battle that couldn't be won. Not with all the weapons in the world. I think most of them realized that, whether anyone said it or not. They still did it, though. They bought time for all the eggheads we're going to save the future. Our future. As long as I can do that for you, I'll consider myself a success. Thank you, Errant. 
I'm glad you're with me. Okay, enough. I'm gonna get emotional. <laughs> Anybody take you up on that ale you brought yet? Zoe can't stand the smell of it. I tried Alva, but I don't think she knows what taking a break means. And I'm not putting Varl anywhere near that stuff after that victory party in Meridian. What about Catalo? Ah, now there's a man that can hold his liquor. Pretty sure we downed half a keg. We had a good chat, I think. That's I good to go. hear. That same here. I got a date with a cauldron to prepare for. Now let's talk with Cotello. Aloy, are you well? Had a bit of an issue with Beta. It's better now, though. Ah, uh, I'm not surprised. Really? Why not? I once knew a warrior who discovered he had a brother late in life. It was deeply uncomfortable for him. Did he ever get over it? In time. But not before the two siblings nearly killed each other in a single combat challenge. Ah. Well, at least I avoided that. Hmm. Think you're ready to put all your training to the test? I am to Nacht. I am always ready. Are you nervous about the mission ahead? If I live, it will be in victory. If I die, it will be in battle. What matters most is that you achieve your objective. I'll do my best. Did Aaron tell you we found the people who gave Regala's rebels the power to override machines? He told me of the battle. I suggested he etch this victory on his fighting arm with one of our inkers. Is he going to do it? He didn't say no. <laughs> Aaron is gonna get it the two. Awesome. I bet people are curious about that new arm of yours. None more than our Quen ally, I assure you. She couldn't wait to take it apart and figure out how it works. I gave her the data I used to build the thing, hoping I would satisfy her curiosity instead. Good luck with that. I should go get ready. I await your orders. Alva said one of the diviners here might know where the Leviathan research facility is. Oh, and we have another Better go to the campfire and let her know I'm here. Could you spare a moment? Ancestor, please. It's about my brother. I don't mean to disturb you, but I've run my requests through every channel and I've gotten nowhere. Just take me through it. Apologies. My name is Jomar. I'm the weapons officer for this expedition. It's my job to ensure the troops are armed and prepared for what's out there. And I've failed to do so. My younger brother, Oris, his unit was sent to scout the tower on the northern side of the island. They should have returned by now. The overseer has denied my request for a search party, and defying him would mean dismissal, or worse. You think they might be alive? Oris has been obsessed with San Francisco ever since I can remember. He jumped at the chance to join this expedition. I have to believe that fate isn't cruel enough to make this place his tomb. If you help me, I'll get you access to any weapon in my stock. Sure. If I make my way up north, I'll look for your brother. Thank you. If it helps, my brother carried an ancestral relic with him. I believe your focus might be able to pick it up. What kind of relic? A small metal piece dangling from a chain with a hologram of San Francisco, which is why my brother always had it with him. The diviners speculated it was some kind of beacon inviting the ancestors to visit the city. Speculated? So there was data on it they couldn't read? It was deemed lost knowledge. If my brother truly is... gone, could you maybe bring the relic back for me? It meant so much to Oris. I, I'd like to keep it safe. For him. Of course. Hey. hey. Everything okay? Oh, another quest. Oh, you guys, we're not gonna get to the main quest for a while. I can't know this. <laughs> we'll find a way home. Harriam, we're never getting that gyro compass back. We're stuck here for good. The ancestor reborn. <sighs> May we be led to truth. Just Aloy, what's this I hear about you never going back home? Our navigational ships, they're all gone, destroyed by storms and reefs. And with them, the one instrument we need to guide us across the ocean. 
There is one ship that might still hold a working gyro compass. But it's beyond our reach, beached on an island surrounded by deadly currents. No compass, no way home, no way back to those we should have never left behind in the first place. Christia. You mentioned you left someone behind? My uh, wife, Meandra. She works the field in the Great Delta. When I was chosen for this mission, she begged me not to come. She was scared I wouldn't return. And like always, she was right. I left without saying goodbye, and now I won't ever see her again. Oh, well, don't say that. I can fix it. So you two are soldiers? Navigators, actually. I'm Harriam, and this is Christia. So you two know how to use this instrument? The gyro compass. Only I know how to read it. The diviners trained me. Harriam was chosen to memorize the charts found in the legacy. So you can't navigate the fleet without each other? It is the Quen way. The greater the knowledge held by one person alone, the greater the risk it'll be used against the Empire should we be captured by our enemies. Your tribe sure is... cautious. What if one of you dies? So what is this gyro compass you're looking for? It's a device used by the ancestors to help pinpoint a ship's location. But it only works if the readings are compared to a chart. How'd you get your hands on something like that? I guess it's safe to tell you since you carry the gift of the ancestors. The diviners found them on ancient vessels back in our homeland and modified them so we could use them on our ships. Without them, we're at the mercy of the seas. You said what you need is on a ship somewhere. Yes. The ship we were stationed on. The night we approached landfall, a sudden squall hit the fleet. While some ships managed to find safe harbor here, ours ran aground. The crew abandoned ship, hoping the ocean would spare us. I thought we'd drown for sure. Thank the ancestors, we somehow got washed up on a beach southwest of here. Scouts found us and brought us to landfall. Not that it matters. The only ship with the gyro compass is grounded and surrounded by deadly currents. Maybe I can help. <laughs> Not unless you can fly. I can't do that. But if I find a way, I'll come back. She's an ancestor reborn. Maybe she really can. The help. frame rate is getting me. I will not let myself hope just yet, but I thank you for your kindness. Finally sure, I can figure something out. I don't think I can get to that ship. At least not now. Oh my god, what the... Okay. Me thinking I'm gonna get a place where I can get out of the water. Oh? No? Got Alva and us to discuss. Hey, Alva, I'm in landfall. Can you meet me here? I'll be there as soon as I can. Aloy, I'm here. I had to sneak past a few machines on the way, but I made it. All right. Ready to talk to that diviner? Yes. He's right over there. Diviner Alva, 
What are you doing back in Landfall? And with the living ancestor? We're looking for the At Bay Research Center, where Leviathan was developed. The legacy tells us it's somewhere in the city. Alva mentioned you've been collecting data in the area. Do you know where it is? Uh, yes, I stumbled across it, but there was no data there, only crumbling ruins. Tell us anyway. We might be able to find something you missed. Please, don't trouble yourself. I, I, I sh assure you, our mm -hmm. search was okay, very thorough. Okay, he's sus. Mm, you're hiding something. What? That... that is absurd. A diviner must only speak truth, as you're well aware. Oh, you're worried you found something dangerous. Something compromising on Eileen Sasaki? Keep your voice down. Look, I get it, Nirik. You want to make it back to your family, so it's safer to turn a blind eye. But think of Leviathan. How it could help everyone. Isn't that why we're here? Don't let fear deny us that. Very well. The facility's just south of here, along the shore. But even if you find a way to fix Leviathan, it's sure to be shrouded in that which is forbidden. Too often, the truth is forbidden. Come on, let's go. I wonder what you're gonna find there. With that diviner back there. You've come a long way since we first met. And Nerex, like I used to be, terrified of a misstep. And with the overseers, he has every right to be. But what I've seen and learned since the greenhouse, uh, it's so much more than what we're permitted. Diviners are supposed to seek the truth, and yet so much is kept from us. I'm tired of it. That should be the facility ahead. Oh, we need to find a way in. A PC hates this place. Frame rate is really bad here. Up here. Well, Nerik wasn't lying about crumbling ruins, at least. Let's look around. Oh no. Aloy, why is the ground shaking? That's not good, whatever it is. Yep. Whoa, that, that thing is huge! We'll what? Take it out if we want to oh out. no. God uh, dang it. Okay. Excuse me? Not after you, Alva. Ouch. Through here. After you. What's the first one? Please tell me this is healing now. Right, in frame rates. Look at this place. I always try to imagine what it must have been like back when the old ones were here. It's less of a climb, I bet. Come on, let's check the upper floors. Do you think 
<laughs> there, a console. Must have been what Nirik found. Let's see if it has anything on the vibe. Let's see what we're gonna find. Oh, the data on Leviathan isn't here. But there's some kind of log. Delete the database. But Miss Sasaki, when you look at the reports, 3,000 exhibiting symptoms, over 400 dead. The data is clear. Omaroma is contaminating the water supply, promoting bacterial growth. And with Leviathan based on the same architecture... You're a smart kid. Top of your class, right? My father built this company thanks to world-class talent like you. And you know what else is world-class? Our legal team. Oh. So unless you want to spend the rest of your career in some dead-end, underfunded public research institute, you'll delete that database and forward all data on Leviathan to my office. Yes, ma'am. That was her, the ancestor, Eileen Sasaki. Hundreds dead, and she knew their system was to blame, but she had the truth erased. Were all the ancestors like this? Selfish, ruthless, immoral? No. And yet we hold them up as paragons of enlightenment and virtue. Given what we've learned, I don't even know if Leviathan will work. Hold on. Let's not give up just yet. You said before that the Old Ones use Leviathan to control flooding. Which means... it probably worked. We'll know more when we find the data on it. The recording mentioned a copy was sent to Eileen's office. And to their corporate headquarters. Uh, there. Let's go. It shouldn't take us long to get to the tower. Oh boy. Lead on. You okay? Oh, you you made it. Good job. So what was that other system the recording mentioned? Omu Ramba? The legacy tells us it was the predecessor to Leviathan, a system that manipulated floods to bring life to a barren desert. Quinn seemed to know a lot about this ancestor. Diviner spent years trying to figure out how to restore Leviathan. We found a lot of data on Eileen Sasaki in the process. Though, now the entrance I is blocked. How much of it is actually Gonna have to true. find another way in. The soldiers built a path on the nearby ruin. Might be able to cross over from there. Lead the way. These lamps are really pretty. Let me see if I close my browser. It's gonna get better. So, yeah. Nope, not really. I think it's this area. This is as far as our soldiers got. We'll have to climb higher to get into the tower. I'll follow your lead. Time to climb. Um... 
No, not this way. Hi, Iman. How are you doing? You doing okay, Olva? Yes. Don't worry Who? about me. Why not go up there? This climbing part is pretty cool. Glen talk. Great. Did it see us? I don't think so, but we'll have to be careful. Um, Eloy, why aren't you going? Being good, that's How nice. How are we to going you. to get across? Oh, that beam looks promising. Beam. Oh, I was like, what beam? Oh, there's a drone here. Uh, this is a lot higher up than I thought. Um... Shooting for Oh, that looks scary. Oh, I think I also know that building. I don't know what it's Glenn called, talks. but oh god. Well, we have the element of surprise. Or we could sneak by and, you know, not fall off the tower. It's fine. We're not gonna fall off the tower. Let them deal with each other. Let's go. Thank you, little green hawk. We gonna pass by. Up this way. Love the music. You're gonna kill the bird. Okay, can you go away, bird? Like, thanks for helping, but like, go away. Oh, yeah, yeah. oh wait! No, my frame rate doesn't allow me to see much when I go. Oh, I hope I have to restart this. Please tell me that there was an auto save at some point. The tower should be able to cross over. Oh, thank goodness. Some of that debris first. Okay. 
Should be able to make it to the other side. Made it. Okay, Alva. Thank goodness. Your turn. Right. Better make yeah. sure Alva makes it across. Aloy, can you this. watch me and make sure I do this right? Oh my God! Yes. Come on, Alva. You can do it. It's okay. Please don't break. Jesus. Wow. <laughs> that would have been a long way to fall. Indeed. Mr. Hand, IT Security would like to emphasize again that entering your private passcode in the passcode reminder field does not meet digital security standards. As such, your passcode has been reset. Again, please choose an appropriate reminder in the future. Are you okay? Oh, the door's yeah. locked. I'm fine. I think it needs a passcode. Let's keep going. Oh. What good is a passcode reminder if it doesn't tell me what the passcode is? The next time I'm trying to set up the conference room for a board meeting and I get locked out because I can't remember the stupid passcode, fingers will be pointed at you. You want an unhelpful user's passcode reminder? Fine. At bay funding date. Month and date. And year. There, happy now, your IT security morons. Okay, so month and year. That's very funny. It says the code is the month and year the company was founded. According to the legacy, it was October 2023. 11. So the company was founded in October. Which is the tenth Wait, that's month November. <laughs> I I can count, guys. <laughs> Oopsie. Got it. Door should be unlocked now. Maybe the data on Leviathan isn't here. reduction strategy we're talking about people's lives here i did as you asked on omaramba but this is worse relax i leave i've spoken with risk management they're confident that the chance of another incident is within acceptable parameters we're moving ahead with leviathan you know dad shortcuts have a way of catching up with you within acceptable parameters or not well one day in the distant future when you're in charge, you can run things how you want. But until then, how about you let me worry about that? Guess Eileen and her father didn't always get along. But it seems like covering up Omaramba wasn't her idea. Doesn't matter. She still had a part in it. Well, let's keep going. Her office must be higher up. Uh, Ooh, another thing. There's a ladder in that shaft, but it's blocked. I might be able to pull the rubble out from the other shaft. Oh. It's art, I think. Could it be? Yes, I think this was commissioned in honor of the company's 25th anniversary. That must be the Dragonfly 6. Ape used it in most of their construction projects. The Dragonfly 6 was their most successful model. Huh. How old was Eileen when she won this award? 40. This looks like some kind of prototype for water purification must be the h2 flow a the what h2 flow their early inventions had strange names okay so let me let me write these numbers down because i forgot them already so there was a 40 2 6 and then what was the last one 35 something what was this called again? The Dragonfly 6. 
What did you say this was for again? The company's 25th anniversary. 25th. Looks like it used to be on the last pedestal. All the numbers you mentioned. I wonder if they make up the passcode. Yeah, it's worth it's a try. 42. You said Eileen was 25. How old when she won this? 40. Okay. Could try my focus. See what it picks up. Fourteen two twenty five. That didn't do anything. Okay. I um, thought that would have worked. Did we overlook something? Not quite right. Okay, I have no idea then. The two artifacts on the ground. Maybe they used to be on opposite pedestals. Thank you, Aloy. I appreciate it. Oh god. It's a 40. Two. Six and twenty-five. That did it. Okay. Well, I can't really say I'm smart. It is all Aloy. You can almost see the whole city from up here. Corner office. Aggressive view. It must have been Eileen's. Let's see if the data on Leviathan is here. Eileen Sasaki, CEO, chair, and worst daughter in the world. Security had to escort dad to his vert. Guess we'll be speaking through lawyers from now on. Looking down at the world from here. It's hard to see the details. People become risk factors, statistics, far too easily. Omurama was supposed to provide clean water, improve lives. It was easier to pretend there wasn't a problem. Easier to believe a lie was truth. But I don't want to pretend anymore. I will build Leviathan right. No more shortcuts. No more lying just to save face. It won't undo our sins. My sins. But maybe we can still do some good. She overthrew her father, and took over the company, so that Leviathan wouldn't end up killing people. It sounded like she regretted covering up Omuramba's failure. She wasn't perfect. Not a paragon, as the Quan believe. But not a monster, either. She tried to make up for her mistakes. And now you know the truth. Uh, as for the data... Uh, Leviathan... Uh, yes, uh, it's here. Downloading a copy now. Is something wrong? I think I'll stay here a while longer. There's a lot more data that I want to look through. Are you sure you'll be okay on your own? Down is always easier than up. Let's speak again when we're back at base. Okay. I'll see you there. I mean, you're not wrong. Well, man. after climbing all the way up, why not glide down? Wait, you're going to what? Just thinking about it. Oh, I definitely glide down. Shut up the bed for a sec. We can see. No! Oh my god! Oh. Oh. <laughs> Not like this. 